Welcome to this live 60 minute practice in support of sanitation first. I hope you enjoy. Be sure to click subscribe below and I'll see you at the end. Welcome in to this 60 minute practice. Today's class is in support of sanitation first. Sanitation First is an organization that helps to support communities in India by providing education to remove the social taboos and shame around girls' menstrual cycles. And this is important because in India specifically, 10 million girls a year drop out of school when their menstrual cycles begin. Sanitation First goes in and provides education, helping to educate the entire community on this cycle. And this helps to keep girls in school. So why is this important? What all of the research shows is that when women are educated, when girls are educated, the community is lifted up out of poverty, not just for this generation, but for generations to come. In addition, Project Drawdown has demonstrated that educating women is one of the top five things that we can do to help reduce climate change. So this is in so many ways an equality emergency and Sanitation First, after they provide that education, installs eco toilets so that everybody in the community has a safe and sanitary place to use the restroom. This reduces waterborne illnesses. And then in addition, that waste product gets to be used as fertilizer for the community's crops. So there's so much good that this organization has been doing for over 20 years. I hope you'll go check them out. Their website is sanitationfirst.org. And even just a small donation makes a difference. As little as $14, less than the cost of an in-person yoga class, helps to install some of these toilets and provide education. So I hope you'll go check them out. So with all of that in mind, let's go ahead and get started for today's practice, which is really all about honoring the cycles that we all go through in life. We'll start toward the back of our mat, big toes together, knees about as wide as the pelvis or the hips, maybe even slightly wider to create a little bit of space. Take your right fist, make it into a fist, and place that into the soft tissue just beneath your navel. Take your left hand over the top of your fist, just a tiny bit of pressure there into the belly. And then as you exhale, fold forward into a variation of child's pose, resting the forehead down onto the floor. And if the floor is just a little too far away in that variation, you can add a block under the forehead for support. Allow the eyes to maybe close. Notice the parts of the body that are tensing against this moment or the next moment. And as you scan through the body with your full awareness, extending an invitation to those clenching places to begin to soften and release. And as you begin to deepen the breath, start to slip into the sound of ujjayi, drawing the breath in through the nose and along the back of the throat. And you might just sense the natural ebbing and flowing of the breath that is emphasized with the fists at the space of the belly. and resting your attention on that natural coming and going, the natural rising and releasing that is part of this cycle of breath. With the inhale meeting this moment and yourself exactly as you are today, 
And with the exhale, surrendering and softening just a little bit more deeply. And taking your time, knowing that there's no hurry and no rush. If you feel like you still need a little bit more space here in this pose, you can stay. Otherwise, very gently on an inhale, roll your way back up, sitting back onto your heels. And as you lift the chest, drop the hands behind the back, interlace the fingers, keeping a little bend in the elbows. Draw the knuckles down, lift the heart up, roll the shoulders back. So just a little bit of an opposite movement of the chest and the spine from where you were. You were in a forward fold a moment ago. Now you're in a bit of a back bend. And then bringing the crown of the head back up to the sky, switch the interlacing of the fingers, opposite finger on top. Squeeze the palms together once again, draw the knuckles down, roll the shoulders back, lift the heart, maybe lift the gaze, take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, coming forward into tabletop pose, wrists today a little bit ahead of the shoulders, knees today a little bit behind the hips. And start to make big circles with the hips, grounding down through all four corners of the hands the inseam of the thumb and the first finger, as well as the outseam of the hand and the pinky finger. And feeling the tops of the feet and the fronts of the shins grounding you down into the mat. So this energy of what we might refer to in yoga as a pana vayu, the downward flow of energy. In this practice today, a deep quality of grounding. If you've been circling the hips in one direction, begin to circle them the opposite way or even side to side or on in a diagonal. And then you might close your eyes and check in with the flow of that breath and starting to come into some of the creativity that is part of a more fluid and yin style of practice. We will be moving today. This will still be a power yoga practice. But yin is often associated as the feminine energy. So there's just that intuitive quality of moving in a way that invokes deep listening for how you are and what it is you're needing today, which is part of our ability to honor rhythms and cycles that are unique to us. On your next breath, as you come through the center, keep the knees behind the hips today and enter into a modified version of plank. Still pressing the tops of the feet down, the shins down, draw the shoulders down the back, gaze slightly forward and wrap the biceps back, the triceps back, the biceps forward. Holding there, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, hover to a modified chaturanga and then straighten the arms, inhale and press the floor away. Two more times like that. Exhale as you hover elbows in. Inhale and straighten the arms. One more time, exhale as you hover. Inhale, straighten the arms, take a good by breath in. And then lower slow the whole body down onto the mat. Release the belly to the floor, the legs straight back. For anyone who's pregnant, you could cat cow instead. Otherwise, if you're on the belly, bring the tips of the fingers to the outside corner edges of the mat and tenting the fingers, so coming up onto the tips of the fingers like you're making little spiders with the hands. Inhale, lift the heart, lift the chest, a fingertip version of Cobra Pose, roll the shoulders back, and then exhale, lengthen to lower, regrounding everything to the mat. Two more on the breath. Inhale as you roll the heart, the chest open. Exhale, lengthen to lower, maybe you close the eyes to do this. One more time, inhale as you rise, shoulders back, gaze toward the horizon. Exhale everything down onto the mat. Slip the hands back by the low ribs, tuck the toes under, press to the knees, and then lift the knees and shift back into your very first downward facing dog. And as you arrive there, right away, start to bicycle the legs, bending one knee, straightening the opposite leg, and then switching and just slowly bicycling the legs side to side. Or maybe even awakening the toes as you spread through the toes. 
coming up onto the toes when the knee bends deeply, spreading the toes. So an essential part of our ability to ground, feeling into all four corners of the feet. Check in with your breath. And then in your own time and only as you're ready, coming into a still downward facing dog. Knees could be bent to lift the tail up to the sky and draw you out of your low and your mid back. Over time, the thighs might press back. You might come into a straight leg version of downward facing dog. There's no hurry to get there. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Open the mouth and let it go. Two more times, deep breath in. Open the mouth, exhale and release. One more time, full deep breath in. Open the mouth, exhale, hang the head. And staying there, crawl your hands to the back of your mat. And as you come to the back of the mat, have that little bend in the knees if it's not already there. Let the arms hang to the floor and just sway side to side. Bending the knees enough that maybe the fingertips can kind of trace a half circle around the floor, around your toes. Letting the chest drape down, the head drape down. You might nod the head a little yes. The head a little no, just letting go of, once again, any holding that might be there from your day or your week. Come through the center, keep the arms heavy, the head heavy, slight bend in the knees, and just as slow as you can, roll your way up to stand, one vertebrae at a time. Your head is the very last thing to come up at the end. At the top, roll the shoulders back. Press down to the feet, draw the hands together at the space of the heart, bow the chin, close the eyes. And as you take a stand inside of yourself, there is a deep honoring. An honoring of where you are in your life in this moment. And rooted within that, a trust that if nature ebbs and flows, if the moon goes in cycles, if the seasons shift and change, if the tides come and go, the same is going to be true inside of you. There's no one perfect place to get to. And you're here to practice being into deep, mindful, compassionate relationship with everything that makes you human. You have the ability to sit with the reactions inside of you, the emotions, the frustrations, the joy, the hardships, the beauty, the successes, all with equanimity. Your goal is not to practice yourself out of feeling these things. Your goal is not to become emotionless or complacent. That all of these tides, these comings and these goings, especially of the inner life, the emotional life or the sensational life, is really the grounds of deep practice. And so setting this intention here at the start of practice to honor the rhythm that you find yourself in today and to know that if it's true in nature, it is true inside of yourself. And so here we go from this place, maybe eyes stay closed just a couple times here to link breath to movement. Inhale, circle the arms to the sky. Exhale, fold forward over strong legs, stay there. Maybe hands to shins, inhale, glance out, lengthen the entire back body. Exhale, fold a little bit more deeply. Rise to stand, inhale, fills the body as you sweep the arms above. Exhale, trace right back down to your center, grounding, landing. One more time, inhale, sweep the arms up, keep it simple, maybe you gaze up. Exhale, fold forward, dropping the head. Inhale, chest out, lengthen from sitting bones to crown of head. Exhale, fold, stay down low, crawl your way out to downward facing dog, planting tips of the fingers, backs of the knuckles into the mat. 
right away on an inhale, float your right leg up just the height of your right hip. Exhale, step your right foot through between your hands and drop your left knee down to the mat. Keep your back toes tucked today. On an inhale, rise into a low lunge, sweep the arms up, feel the pelvis lifted upright. So rather than sitting into the hips, you're almost pulling back, lifting the pubic bone and then awaking the front of the left thigh and the left side psoas. Take one more inhale, reach up out of the sides of the waist as if you could grow an inch. Exhale, place the hands down, frame the front foot. On your inhale, lift your left knee and then pull your chest forward. Find that flat back once again. As you exhale, rock the hips back, straighten your right leg to your own personal amount, fold over your right thigh and drop your head. Rebend the right knee on an inhale, lengthening from right sitting bone to the top of the head. Then step the left foot forward as you exhale to the top of the mat. Flat back, inhale, maybe hands to shins. Exhale, fold forward. Rise to stand, inhale, sweep the arms to the sky. As you exhale, drop the right arm down by your right side, reach the left arm up and overhead, getting into the side body. Right arm up to meet the left, inhale, grow tall once again. Exhale, left hand down by left thigh, right arm up and over, still pressing down through the feet. Both arms up, inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward, honor where you're at. Inhale, lengthen, pull the heart forward and out. Exhale, fold, step the right foot back and drop the right knee to the mat. Inhale, circle the arms up, find your low lunge, left knee above left ankle. So rather than sitting deep, once again, the sense of containment, we don't have to go far to have an experience. Take one more inhale without lifting the shoulders to the ears, a little bit of space. Hands to the mat as you exhale, frame the front foot. Inhale, right knee lifts, spine lengthens, shoulders draw back. Exhale, straighten the left leg to your own amount. Drop in, hang your head beyond the mind of comparison. Rebend the left knee on the inhale. Then plant the hands and step the left foot to downward facing dog as you exhale. Upper push up plank pose on an inhale. You can always modify if that were best. Chaturanga on your out breath. Up dog if it's appropriate on an inhale. You could always stay with cobra if that were best. Downward facing dog as you exhale. And we're just gonna go right into that flow. Left leg lifts, inhale the height of the hip. Exhale, left foot forward, right knee to the mat on the out breath. Low lunge on an inhale, both arms lift. Exhale, fingertips down to the mat. Inhale, right knee up, heart forward, lengthen out of the back. Exhale, fold over a straight left leg, drop the head. Rebend the left knee on your in breath. Step forward, top of the mat on your out breath. Inhale, find Ardha Uttanasana, a flat back. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold, melt in. To the sky, inhale, press through the feet and rise to stand. Left arm down by left side as you exhale, right arm overhead. Left arm up on an in breath. Exhale, right hand down, left arm sweeps up and overhead. Both arms to the sky, inhale, forward fold, exhale, here we go, inhale, flat back, exhale, fold, left toe, step back, knee to the mat, low lunge, inhale, fill your lungs, rise to meet the moment with the breath, hands down as you exhale, left knee up, inhale, pull the chest forward and out, exhale, rock the hips back and melt. Rebend the right knee, inhale, lengthen and make space. Down dog is your exhale, right foot steps back. Plank pose, inhale, shoulders above wrists, stability and grounding. Exhale, chaturanga with steadiness, hurry. Inhale, up dog or cobra, always your choice. Exhale, down dog as you shift back. One more time, right and left. Inhale, right leg up. 
Exhale, right foot through, back knee to the mat. Inhale, low lunge as you rise up. Exhale, fingertips down to the mat. Inhale, left knee up and heart forward. Make it count with the breath. Exhale, rock back, slow it down. It still can be strong. Inhale, re-bend the right knee. Exhale, left foot up, top of the mat. Inhale, pull the chest out. Exhale, drop the head and fold. Inhale to the ceiling as you rise. Exhale, right arm down by right side, left arm overhead. Inhale, both arms up, you honor the waves. Exhale, left arm down, right arm extends. Inhale, both arms lift up above. Exhale, fold forward over your version of straight legs. Inhale, chest out, waist long. Exhale, fold, right toes back, knee to the mat. Inhale, low lunge as you sweep and lift. Exhale, fingertips come down to the mat, you're empty of breath. Inhale, right knee up, heart forward and out. Exhale, left leg toward your version of straight. Rebend the left knee, inhale. Step back, down dog as you exhale. Upper push up plank pose, inhale. There's a little pause at the top of the breath. Then exhale, chaturanga. There's a little pause when you're empty of breath. Inhale, cobra or up dog as the shoulders roll back, the gaze lifts ahead. Down dog, exhale, meet those four parts of the breath. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, left foot forward, back knee descends. Last time, inhale, low lunge, rise. Exhale, fingertips down, slow it down. It's still strong, you'll break a sweat. Inhale, right knee up, heart forward and out. Exhale, pull the hips back, fold your own mouth. Inhale, re-bend the left knee, draw the chest ahead. Exhale, right foot steps forward, top of the mat. Inhale, glance out and lengthen. Exhale, fold and get empty again. Inhale to the sky, last time you rise. Exhale, left arm down, right arm sweeps overhead. Inhale, left arm up to meet right. Exhale, right arm down, left arm up and over. Inhale, both arms lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, Arda, halfway. Exhale, left toes back, knee to the mat. Inhale to your low lunge, last time. Exhale, drop the fingertips down, moving meditation. Inhale, left knee up and heart forward and out. Exhale, rock the hips back and melt. Rebend the right knee, inhale. Step back, down dog, exhale. Inhale, forward, upper push-up, plank. Exhale, elbows squeeze the waist. Inhale, notice if you're in a tendency to hurry or rush. Exhale, shift back, downward facing dog. Pause and downward facing dog. Land back into your body. The body is the anchor. The body is the place of the present moment, a place of incredible information to help you tune into the particular cycle or rhythm that's asking for your attention. So that's where the need is going to make itself known. And are you courageous enough to attend to it? Take an inhale, press the heart back. Exhale, look forward, bend the knees, step the feet up to the top of the mat. Chest out, inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward, bend the knees, drop the hips, sit back into chair pose. Feel the feet driving down and the chest lifting up. So the downward flow of energy through the feet actually feeds this ability for us to have the buoyancy to extend up through the spine, the crown of the head, the tips of the fingers. Keeping the knees bent, float the left knee to the chest, and then stack the left thigh tightly over the right. Your left foot could hook behind your right calf, it could hang out, it could rest on the mat. Then left elbow underneath the right, and just staying upright in Garudasana today in Eagle Pose. 
inner thighs, inner forearms pressing toward each other. And as your focus moves towards your midline, both internally and physically, a sense that you are grounded and steady as you negotiate that midline. Breathing deeply, even as heat rises, even as the legs and the muscles in the legs start to talk to you, you know how to be with sensations or feelings as they rise to a peak with a deep trust that eventually they'll pass again. Give it one last squeeze here. Then on an inhale, arms to the sky, left leg straight forward, right leg straight and stand tall. Take a full breath in and then exhale back to chair pose. Left foot beats right, re-bend the knees, lift the heart, lift the chest, take a breath and then exhale and fold the right thigh to the chest. Stack the right thigh tightly over the left. This side might be different. Find the variation that works for where you're at. And then right elbow underneath the left. Elbows lift up. Elbows and forearms press forward. So it's almost as if in a moment here, you get a little bit of an opening at the back of the heart. Feeling the shoulder blades drawing away from each other and maybe using the mind's eye for a moment and imagining that you could breathe right into that space at the back of the heart. A place that for so many of us gets tight and tense. And it's the place where it's energetically said that we actually receive love. So open that place up with your awareness, your breath. Give it one last little squeeze, you've got it. On an inhale, left leg straight, right leg forward, reach the arms out, stand tall, take a breath. Exhale back to chair pose, re-bend the knees, plant the feet. One last inhale to sit a little bit deep. Exhale, fold and dive. Inhale, pull the chest out. Exhale through the vinyasa, step back to plank, lower slow, or you could skip it. Inhale, cobra or upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're going right into a flow. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale, step the right foot forward, seal the back foot flat. Rise up on an inhale into warrior one. Blade of the back left foot pressing down. Right hip drawing straight back. Left waist spinning forward. Facing ahead, take an inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, open up into warrior two. Heel toe the right foot to intersect the back arch. Spread the arms out and then sit down to your own amount, but feel the pressure of the feet down into the earth, knowing what you're in contact with, feeling that sense of groundedness. Straighten the right leg on an inhale, lift the arms up, turn the right toes in to mirror the left. And then open to warrior two at the back of the mat as you exhale, bend the left knee, switch perspective, spread the arms out wide. So much of honoring not just our rhythms, but each other's rhythms as a collective is this ability to see things from a different perspective. So as we rotate around the mat today, maybe you could embody that a bit. Left palm up to the sky, take an inhale, reach the left arm up and overhead, big side stretch. Cartwheel the hands down as you exhale, step back to plank, lower to the mat. Inhale, cobra or upward facing, heart lifts. Exhale, downward facing dog, right away, left leg up, inhale. Left foot through, exhale. Rise up, warrior one, inhale, reach up. First round will hold a little bit, so keep breathing here. And as you honor where you're at in this moment, in your life, in your day, in your week, maybe there's also an opportunity for you to honor where somebody else is at that might be different than you. You might find that challenging, confronting, frustrating, or maybe you find it exciting. Whatever the case might be, maybe this could be a practice during this flow of helping to see things from a new perspective, an openness, a willingness to see things from someone else's perspective. 
Take an inhale, lift up. Open up to warrior two as you exhale. Left arm forward, right arm behind. And feel the torso in that center line. So even as you look in both directions, right arm behind you, left arm ahead of you, you, your head above your heart, your heart above your pelvis, grounded in the present moment, that reminder for you to be strong enough to remember what's true. On an inhale, straighten the left leg, lift the arms, and turn the left toes forward to mirror the right. Then open to warrior two to the back of the mat, so back to your right leg as you exhale. Right arm forward, left arm behind. Flip the right palm up on an inhale. Reverse your warriors. We just start to make these circles around the body and our life. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down. Step back and lower slow. Inhale, up dog or cobra, you flow. Exhale, down dog, here we go. Inhale, right leg lifts up. Exhale, right foot forward. Inhale, rise up, first warrior. Exhale, open up to warrior two. Inhale, arms up, left toes turn in as the leg straightens. Exhale, second warrior to your left leg. Inhale, reverse it, left arm up and overhead. Exhale, hands to the mat through the vinyasa, or you could skip it and modify. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog, left leg up, inhale, left foot forward, exhale, inhale, warrior one in a flow, exhale, open warrior two as you let go, inhale, left leg straight, arms above, exhale, second warrior to the right, inhale, reverse your warrior back, exhale, hands down, step back, lower to the mat, inhale, cobra or up dog, Exhale, down dog, round two. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right foot through. Inhale, warrior one on the breath. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, arms up and legs straight. Exhale, second warrior to the left. Inhale, the peaceful warrior pulls you back. Exhale, hands down, step back, lower to the mat. Inhale to your back bend. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, left leg up slow. Exhale, left foot through strong. Inhale, warrior one, you stand in yourself. Exhale, warrior two, as you open it up. Inhale, legs straight and arms above. Exhale, second warrior to the right. Inhale, right arm draws you up and back. Exhale, hands down, step back. You could use the knees if it's best. Inhale as your shoulders roll. Exhale, down dog, one more round to go. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right foot through. Inhale, rise, Virabhadrasana one. Exhale, open up, Virabhadrasana two. Inhale, right leg straight, arms above. Exhale, second warrior to the left. Inhale, left arm overhead. Exhale, through the vinyasa or not, it's always your choice. Inhale, heart opens, receive the breath. Exhale, down dog as you empty last time. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left foot forward. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, spread it open. Inhale, arm up, leg straight. Exhale to the right side. Inhale, right arm overhead. Exhale, hands down, step back. Lower to the mat. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pause there. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Stick the tongue out. Two more of those. Deep breath in. Tongue out. One more time. Inhale. Tongue out. Exhale. On an inhale, lift the right leg up and back. Exhale, step the right foot forward, spin the back foot flat, rise back up to warrior one on an inhale and pause. Drop the hands behind you the way we started practice, catch and interlace the fingers. Little bend in the elbows, inhale, lift the heart, roll the heart open. And exhale, humble yourself, just to your own amount. Chest could be parallel to the thigh. Right shoulder could be inside. Drop the head 
out of the thinking mind. And always just to remember that in so many traditions, the word for mind and heart are the same. And so these things have been disconnected predominantly in Western culture. When you feel back into this space where heart feeds mind, mind supports heart, and you ground down into yourself, breathing into what's true for you today. Rise back up, inhale, first warrior, sleep and lift. Exhale, open up, warrior two. As you pause in warrior two, take a moment, draw the shoulders a little bit away from the ears without pulling the shoulders out of their sockets. And on an inhale, just straighten the right leg. Keep it a little bit wide today. Reach the right arm forward, slip the right hip back, and as the right hand comes to the right shin, let the left arm fall down in front of you. And as the left arm falls in front of you, reach it forward and then up to the sky. Three big circles here. Exhale down. Inhale up, lubricating the shoulder joint, getting that synovial fluid going. Exhale down. Inhale all the way back up. Pause there, turn the hand to face behind you. Drop the hand behind the back and turn the gaze down towards your right big toe. Where's your breath? Are you aware of your breath? Feel the breath in the body, the place where you feel it most. Listen to the sound of the breath, let that guide you here. Start to bend the right knee, shift the right fingertips forward, and then step up into a bound variation of Ardha Chandrasana Half Moon Pose. The left hand behind the back. Feeling the apanavayu, the grounding energy of your strong right leg. Remember that strong doesn't mean that it's unmoving. <laughs> when you're negotiating center and balance and unknowingness, uncertainty, how long will she keep us in this pose? How long will she keep talking? And through it all, can you keep breathing? On an inhale, reach the left arm to the sky. Come into your full version of half moon pose. Take one breath there. Very slowly as you exhale, start to re-bend the right knee, float step back to warrior two, land, arrive, meet yourself, the pose, your breath. Inhale, straighten the right leg, turn the right toes in, lift the arms up just like you did in our flow. Then exhale, pull the hands to the heart, kick the heels in, bend the knees, and sit down into temple pose. Inner knees stay open, blades of the feet stay firm. On an inhale, straighten both legs. Left hand to left hip, right arm up and over the head. Then exhale, re-bend the knees, hands back to the heart. Inhale, straighten both legs, right hand to right hip, left arm up and over the head. Exhale, re-bend the knees, both hands to the heart. Straighten the legs, inhale, both arms lift. Exhale, re-bend the knees, strong in the legs, hands to the heart. We flow this two more times. Inhale, legs straight, right arm overhead. Exhale, knees bend, hands to heart. Inhale, legs straight, left arm overhead. Exhale, re-bend, back to temple pose. Both legs straight, inhale, both arms lift. Exhale, re-bend the knees, sit down, hands to the heart. Last time, inhale, legs straight, right arm up and over. Exhale to the heart space. Inhale, legs straight, left arm up and over. Exhale, hands to Anjali, last time. Inhale, legs straight, arms rise. Exhale, re-bend the knees, pull the hands to the heart, pause there. Drop the hands to the knees, let the chest come a little bit forward, knees still bent, and drop the right shoulder. Roll the left shoulder down the back, peel the collarbones wide, this time almost like you could draw the tips of the shoulder blades into the spine. Inhale to center. Exhale, switch. Dip the left shoulder down, roll the right shoulder back, inner thighs spreading, feet grounding, breath descending. 
Inhale, come back to center, take a breath. Then exhale, start to straighten the legs, kick the heels back and drop the fingertips down in front of you. Walk the hands out very far, like you're in a wide downward facing dog. So walk the hands off the mat. Press the feet back, let the heels get heavy. Nod the head a little yes. Nod the head a little no. On an inhale, walk the hands back into the center. Stay down low and start to crawl to your left leg. Spin the left toes forward. Spin onto your back right toes, coming into a high runner's lunge. And just like we've done before, drop the right knee down, keep the right toes tucked, and inhale, rise to your low lunge. If you're pregnant, you'll just stay here. Otherwise, take an inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to the heart, right elbow outside of the left knee, taking the twist if it's appropriate for you today. And turning the navel toward the inner thigh, rolling the shoulders down the back. Lift the right knee up in either variation. So now you're in a high lunge. Right elbow, left knee still connected. Left thigh still pulling back, heart still drawing forward. Keep the left knee bent and then step the right foot up to meet the left, landing in twisting chair if you're taking the twist. Shoulders draw down the back, everything moving towards center. Give it one last little squeeze here. Inhale to chair pose. If you're not already there, take a breath through the middle. Then exhale, chest to thighs, arms by the sides. Listen close, knees still bent. Reach the left leg straight behind you into a version of warrior three with your right knee bent. Drop the left hand under the left shoulder. Reach the right arm to the sky. Right knee still bent, left leg still lifted, a version of twisting half moon. Take one more inhale, roll the heart to the right. And then exhale your right hand down, right knee still bent. Draw yourself into a version of standing splits. Draw your forehead towards your shin. Let the head go. Open up into all that might be arising for you here. Little sweat on the skin, little intensity of sensation, and riding those waves of everything always shifting and changing. What we like fades into what we find maybe unpleasant. And we can ride all of those shifts and changes with the rhythm of the breath. You know how to do this. Take an inhale. Exhale, left foot meets right, hands to the mat, chest out. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold, heel toe the feet wide as the mat. Heels in, toes out, drop the hips. Malasana, elbows to the inner knees. Ground down, hug the inner thighs in, lift the heart, lift the chest. And then today, drop the fingertips behind you, sit down onto your sitting bones, and then come into boat pose. Knees could be bent, legs could be straight. Take an inhale, spread through the toes, reach the arms ahead, big breath. Exhale, plant the feet down hip distance, hands behind you, fingertips forward, upward facing tabletop pose. Inhale, awaken the hip flexors, the shoulders, the wrists. Lower the sitting bones down, and then keeping that, cross the right ankle over the left knee into a seated version of your figure four shape, into a seated version of floating pigeon. Right toes flex, spine as tall as it can be, walk those fingertips in, and then close the eyes, go inside of yourself, breathe, receive, You're here to listen inwardly. Take a breath. As you exhale, drop the left knee to the ground, sweep the left foot all the way over to the right, landing in double seated pigeon. Remembering you can always cross the right shin in front of the left for a variation. Bring the heels of the hands to the tops of the thighs, press the thighs down. A little bit of grounding, almost as if you could give yourself an adjustment. And the energy here is again of that 
downward flow toward the earth, feeling into your solidity, into your steadiness. Take a breath. If you would like, exhale, walk the hands forward and fold. Otherwise, you can stay upright. We get so disconnected from the natural rhythms of the world in which we live. And so understandably, we forget how to honor those natural rhythms inside of ourselves and our own lives. So just to share that compassionate reminder that if the world in which we live, nature itself is always dying and regenerating, the same is going to be true inside of us that we cannot have awakening without upheaval. Walk the hands back in on an in-breath. And then as you exhale, lean back a little bit, cross the right ankle in front of the left, place the blades of the feet down, plant the hands down, maybe step or shoot the toes back. Inhale, cobra or upward facing. Exhale, down dog. Take a second in down dog. How are you different? How have things shifted and changed for you just in that discipline of showing up and practicing, of attuning to your body, your breath, honoring, a moment of acknowledgement, something we so frequently forget to do for ourselves. We're pretty good at doing it for each other, acknowledging each other's moments of compassion or successes or wins. We forget to do it for ourselves, so take a second here and acknowledge. On an inhale, lift the left leg up. Exhale, step the left foot through. Last warrior one, rise up, inhale. Hands behind, one finger over. Draw the knuckles down, lift the heart up, big breath. Exhale, fold your way out. The practice of humility, one of our core values. That deep quality that reminds us to be humbled in those moments when we lose ourselves, our center, reminds us to be grateful for the things we have, the experiences we have, to be grateful to each other. The sense of honoring when there's so much in this life that no longer seems to be sacred. So a moment of inner reverence here. On an inhale, rise back up, warrior one, big breath. Open up, warrior two, as you exhale, we're really just passing through. Inhale, straighten the left leg, reach the left arm out, left hand to left shin, and then drop the right arm down in front of your body. Start to reach it forward, and then back up to the sky on the inhale. And then three big circles here on your own, slow. Like you're moving through something thick. And so we go from a quick pace in our flow, to just a little slower pace here. When that arm gets up, bind it behind the back and then right away, Take it out of the neck, turn the gaze down, look toward the floor, give yourself permission to soften. Find one spot for the eyes. Feel into the feet for a moment, feel into the subtle body, which maybe is already moving you into the next pose, be in this pose, watch that urgency. And then consciously make the decision, bend the left knee, shift the left hand forward, float up into your bound version of half moon today. Breathe into the sides of the waist, like you can get into that little intercostal muscle space. How strong can you be through the back right leg as if it were up against a wall or pressing into somebody's hand? And then from that resistance, then the crown of the head buoys forward. You get longer, taller, more expansive. Send the right arm to the sky. Inhale. Full half moon. Take a breath. And then exhale. Bend the left knee. Float step back to warrior two. Inhale. Exhale. Straighten the left leg. Turn the left toes in. Reach the arms up. 
kick the heels in, bend the knees, turn the toes out into temple pose, and we're gonna go right into that moon salute flow. Inhale, legs straight, this time left arm overhead. Bend the knees, hands to the heart on the out breath. Inhale, legs straight, right arm overhead. Exhale, knees bend, hands to the heart. Both arms up, inhale as the legs straighten. Exhale, rebend and sit in. Two more, inhale, legs straight, left arm overhead. Hands to the heart, rebend. Inhale, legs straight, right arm overhead. Exhale, hands to the heart, temple pose. Both arms up, inhale. Sit down, exhale, last time through. Inhale, left arm. Exhale, rebend. Inhale, right arm. Exhale, sit low. Both arms, inhale, rise. Exhale, sit down, hold there, hands to the heart, take a breath. This time, bring the hands to the hips, slide the hands down the inner thighs, pour the chest forward. And then from here, straighten the legs, kick the heels back, keep sliding the hands down the outer thighs, outer calves, and then holding onto the outer ankles, flare the elbows, drop the head. Things are a little bit tight, put a bend into the knees, lift the sitting bones up, drop a little deeper. Then as the elbows flare out, let the crown of the head hang down, the shoulder blades ascend up the back. One more inhale. Fingertips to the earth as you exhale, stay down low, crawl to your right leg, high runner's lunge as you spin to the back left toes. Drop the left knee down. Low lunge, inhale, arms lift. Maybe you stay here if you're not twisting. Otherwise, exhale, hands to the heart, left elbow outside of the right knee. And you might notice that twisting in this direction is a different experience. I know for myself, twisting to this side is a little bit tighter. I don't have as much space, as much mobility. And so our jobs in this moment is to honor this rhythm, honor this cycle, this space that we're in, not make it the same. If we can do that internally with ourselves, then of course the great hope being that we can do that externally with each other, so honoring those perspectives we spoke about. Maybe lifting the right knee up and off the mat, coming into that prayer twist with your high lunge. Balance might be a little tricky, take a breath, you might notice how balance is different for you depending on the different cycles that you're in. Look down, step your left foot up to meet your right, coming into your twisting chair pose. Roll the right shoulder down. Give it one last little squeeze. Inhale, through the center of a chair, knees still bent, take a breath. Then lay your chest to your thighs as you exhale, reach your arms back. Shift the weight into your left foot, Send your right leg straight behind you. So you're in a neutral rotation of the pelvis. Having the left knee bent helps with that, rotating the right pinky toe down. You could stay here. Or right hand under right shoulder, left arm to the sky into a bent knee version of twisting half moon. Drive the right heel back, reach the crown of the head forward, open the chest, big breath. Exhale, left hand down. Crawl the hands in either side of the left foot. Maybe left forearm behind left calf. Last little standing pose here. Hug yourself in. One more inhale. Right toes down, exhale. Flat back, inhale, legs straight. Exhale, fold, heel toe the feet out. Turn the toes out, the heels in. Malasana, you're here for a beat. Hug the outer elbows with the inner knees. It's strong and that strength, again, feeds Udana Vayu. The upward flow of energy can lift up and out of the sacrum, up and out of the crown of the head. Big breath. Fingertips behind you for support. Drop the sitting bones down, inner thighs together. Knees could be straight as you lift the toes. Maybe you keep the bend. Passing through boat pose, take one more deep inhale. Feet down, hip distance, hands behind, lift the hips. Upward facing tabletop pose, big breath. Lower the sitting bones down. 
cross the left ankle over the right knee. Walk the hands in if you can. Lift the spine tall. Close the eyes if it's right. Oh, you did it. You showed up. You honored your practice, your commitment. You slowed down when it was called for. You found intuition and you honored it. One more breath. Double-seated pigeon as you exhale. Right foot slides to the left. Left shin stacks on top of the right. Heels of the hands to the tops of the thighs. A little press. A little self-encouragement. A little reminder as you put your hands on your body. You're not alone. We're in it together. You can stay here. You can fold forward. Hmm. Breathe. If you walk the hands forward, walk them back in, and then walk the fingertips behind. Cross the left ankle in front of the right, place the blades of the feet down, plant the hands forward, and then step or shoot the toes back. Inhale, lift the heart, lift the chest, last vinyasa. Exhale, press that last down dog. Take an inhale here, again, acknowledging. A moment of deep listening, of pausing with yourself. Not to judge it or criticize it, just to see it in awareness. Knees descend to the mat, crawl the knees forward, cross the ankles behind you, roll all the way onto the back. As you roll onto the back, bring the soles of the feet together, open the knees out wide, left hand to the heart, right hand to the belly, hands on the body, a little bit of pranayama. Deep breath in through the nose. Open the mouth, exhale, let go. <sighs> through the nose, inhale for one, two, three, four. Out the nose, four, three, two, one. Breathe in, one, two, three, four, exhale, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one, last two, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, last time, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, take a deep breath in. Take a full breath out. Keep the eyes closed, hands to the outer knees, close the knees together, hug the knees in. Happy baby pose, pass through it for a moment. Hook the big toes, hold the outer edges of the feet or catch the heels or the ankles if it's best. Take a breath. Draw the knees back into center. Curl the forehead up to meet the knees. Give yourself one last squeeze. And exhale, reach the legs out and down. Let the feet fall away. Drop the arms by the sides. Turn the palms to the sky. Land in a final rest. One cleansing breath together. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Hold it at the top. Maybe sip in a little more breath. And open the mouth, exhale. And Shavasana. 
the ultimate in grounding poses of meeting the earth, of returning back to our own collective and shared essence. If you have time today for a longer Shavasana, please stay. Otherwise, if it's time for you to transition, bend the knees, curl to one side, press down into the hands and rise back up to a final seat. Hands at the heart, bow the chin. And to feel the stability inside of yourself, the gratitude that you have for your practice that allows you to navigate both the understandable rhythms of life and also those that feel so uncertain, unwanted, unexpected. You know how to do this. You know how to move through cycles of your life and of the world. And to remember that practice asks us to support each other in those cycles. And so maybe today your seva, your act of service, is stepping off of the mat and making a donation to Sanitation First to support equality for all people everywhere. On an inhale, drawing the thumbs to the forehead for clarity of thought the fingertips to the lips for thoughtfulness of speech, and the hands to the heart for consistency of action, allowing your practice to guide you through everything you're thinking, saying, and doing. Namaste. Thank you so much for your practice today. Hope you'll go check out this incredible organization, and I look forward to practicing with you next time. Thank you so much for participating in this practice today. If you feel inspired, head over to sanitationfirst.org, learn more about this incredible organization, and make a donation today. As always, you can sign up for my newsletter at laurenextrom.com and be invited to join these practices for free, live, anytime I teach them. And you can always practice with me at interdimensiontv.com. When you join, you get your first 10 days for free. Thank you again for your practice, and I look forward to seeing you next time.